So in this week's lecture, we'll take up a very important topic in general pharmacology, and that is lipid solubility and the partition coefficient of a drug. As we all know, the lipid solubility or lipophilicity is correlated to the biological activity of a drug molecule. So in this lecture, we'll try to understand what is log P or the partition coefficient of a drug and how it plays a crucial role in the overall pharmacokinetics of a drug in the body. I normally say that lipophilicity of a compound is the love of fat, or in other words, it is the fear of water. Lipophilicity is a major determining factor in the pharmacokinetics of a drug in the body, or its penetration across the vital membranes and biological barriers, because Lipophilicity can affect a compound's absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion and toxicity, or ADMET properties. Drugs that are predominantly dissolved in water are called hydrophilic, and those predominantly dissolved in lipids are called lipophilic. You all know the saying in chemistry, like dissolves like means polar liquids like water will dissolve in other polar liquids while non-polar liquids usually the organic substances for example will mix well with each other again a basic chemistry example in this figure you see a typical separating funnel a mixture of water and vegetable oil is added to it and then shaken and then left until it becomes stable again. We know the oils are hydrophobic. After some time, you will see that the liquid with higher density, in this case water, goes to the bottom of the separating funnel while the oil floats on water because it has a lesser density than water or has a lower specific gravity than water. We just gave an example of vegetable oil and water. However, in order to determine the lipophilicity of drug molecules, the most widely used organic substance is 1-octanol. One 1-octanol one is a well-known organic compound or a fatty alcohol often used to evaluate the lipophilicity of drugs. The density of octanol or 1 octanol is 0.83 and water as you know is 1 therefore octanol will float on the top of water for example in this figure the unionized drug shown here has distributed itself more in the octanol phase or the lipid phase as compared to the water phase. The distribution of a non-ionized compound between water and octanol phases is used to calculate the partition coefficient or P of that drug, often expressed as its logarithm to the base 10 or the log P. Water octanol partitioning provides a good approximation of partitioning of drugs across the cell membrane. The octanol water partition coefficient is an index used in drug discovery to estimate the solubility, membrane permeability, and bioavailability of compounds. Partition coefficient can be defined as the ratio of the concentration of the unionized compound or drug at equilibrium between organic or one octanol phase and aqueous phase in a two-phase system. Yeah, so concentration of the unionized drug in the organic one octanol phase and its concentration in the aqueous phase in a two-phase system. The octanol phase and the water phase, the one octanol layer and the water layer. It is also represented by KOW. O is oil and W for water. 
P can be calculated by the equation P is equal to concentration of drug in one octanol phase over concentration of drug in water phase. Values of P are usually measured at room temperature 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. However, the effect of temperature on the partition coefficient is not great. The problem is that most of the numbers we get with the partition coefficient values could be either very small or very large. A very useful mathematical tool to normalize these very large values, for example, could be the use of logarithm function. Here are some examples of some small and very large partition coefficient values. We must know that if the drug partitions equally between water and one octanol, the value of P will be 1. And log of 1 is equal to 0, so the log P will be 0. If the drug partitions 100 times more in one octanol than water, then P is equal to 100 and log of 100 is equal to 2 or log P is equal to 2. If the drug partitions 1 million times more in one octanol phase than water phase, then P is equal to 1 million and log of 1 million is equal to 6, so the log P will be 6. On the other hand, if the drug partitions 1 million times more in water than one octanol, then P is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 or log P will be minus 6. Now, here I want you to look back and think again of the log P values we just explained. Just have a look again. Now we can conclude that a positive value of log P reflects that the compound has affinity for the lipid phase or the compound is lipophilic. A negative value of log P means that the compound has affinity for the aqueous phase or the compound is hydrophilic, whereas if the log P is zero, means it is equally partitioned between both phases, the water phase and the oil phase. As we've just seen that the partition coefficient or log P values could be either positive or negative, so the positive values represent a lipophilic trend, whereas the negative values represent a hydrophilic trend. And again, if the log P is zero, means the drug is equally partitioned between the one octanol phase and the water phase. Let's understand this in a more practical way. Non-polar groups, for example, methyl group and acetyl group, can be added to a molecule to enhance the lipophilicity. It is important to know that increasing lipophilicity will often increase the blood-brain barrier penetration and thus facilitate the entry of only highly lipid-soluble substances into the brain tissue. On the other hand, presence of polar groups, for example, alcoholic hydroxyl, on a molecule would reduce the lipophilicity or it will increase the hydrophilicity. Let's take an example. Morphine has an hydroxyl group which is more polar in nature and it has a log P value of 0.9. It is of note that only highly lipid soluble drugs can cross the highly selective blood-brain barrier. For instance, addition of a nonpolar group such as 1-methyl group to morphine produces codeine, which has a higher blood-brain barrier penetration than morphine. The codeine's log P is 1.3. And for instance, addition of two acetyl groups will produce heroin, which further increases the blood-brain barrier permeation. The log P of heroin is 1.55 and thus it possesses the highest BBB penetration of the three drugs shown here. Which is why heroin is so highly lipophilic with a very high permeability through blood-brain barrier. 
heroin is considered to be one of the most addicting substances known. Well, lipophilicity plays a significant role in the drug discovery and compound design, and it is often quantified as log P. Or in other words, among other criteria, new drugs are screened for their log P values as a measure of their lipophilicity. For example, for a drug intended for GI absorption, the ideal log P values should be ranging between 1.35 to 1.8. The drug targeting the central nervous system across the BBB should ideally have a log P value around 2. It is very important to mention here that a very high log P or very high lipophilicity means the drug will be difficult to excrete, in turn leading to the accumulation of the drug in the body. Thus, very high log P values could be undesirable as it could cause the systemic toxicity of the drug. Again, because a very highly lipophilic drug will be hard to excrete out. However, in addition to log P, the knowledge of pKa of the drug and the pH of the medium is equally important. Because for a drug in the body, the situation is not as simple and there are a number of other factors which play a vital role in the lipophilicity of a molecule, such as the pKa of the drug and the pH of the medium. For a detailed review on pKa of a drug, please watch my other video. I will drop a link to that video in the description below. To sum up the matter, it is important to mention that determination of log P is a common practice in the pharmaceutical industries to understand the behavior of drug molecules in the body. And of course, the accurate estimation of log P is highly important for the pharma industry to optimize pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic properties of new compounds. So that's it for today. I'll see you around in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.